so happy to be here tonight. Um, we, I've got stuff already cooking because, of course, I always forget to take meat out of the freezer the night before. So I got it out this morning, let it thaw a little bit on the counter, but it is still a little bit frozen. So I wanted to get it started now. That way we're not sitting here forever. So all that's in here right now is just ground turkey. I'm letting that cook real quick. Tonight, I am making a ground turkey butternut, butternut squash skillet. And I've made this before. It is super, super good. So while this is cooking, I'm just gonna go ahead, put the onions in there and they will cook together. Get some help? I would love some help, Allison. Come on over. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. <laughs> All right. So this is a really easy recipe. It's gonna be hands off for a little bit. Um, let's see. I just have to cook the ground turkey and the onions, and then I will add the squash, and then it'll cook for like 12 minutes and off. So, um, yeah, we'll have some time to chat. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's no hot sauce on the counter, so listen, well, I'm going to put some hot sauce on this afterward. I won't add any to it right now, but I will once it is done. All right, we got lots of friends. I see Maggie and Amanda, Sue and Laura, thank you. Norma, Regina, and Lucrecia, hey. All right, so like I said, butternut squash ground turkey skillet. I think I have the recipe down in the description. Uh, so if you want to check it out for yourself, go right ahead. So I did a lot of the hard work already. And the hard work was this butternut squash right here. So let me tell Hi. you the, the easiest way for me to cut up a butternut squash. Now it's so much cheaper to buy a whole one than it is to buy like the pre-chopped or even the frozen cubes. So what I do is I take the whole squash and I poke holes in it with my fork poke, poke, all around. Poke, 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 and then poke, I microwave it for one minute. And then once I do that, it is soft enough to chop off both ends. So I'll take a huge knife and then cut off both ends of it. And then that's when I can peel it, when I can take out all the seeds, and then I can chop it into little pieces. So for first thing to remember, you poke it with holes and you microwave it. And once you do that, it will be soft enough to cut much easier. <laughs> oh goodness. All right. We, let's see. So once this is done, I have to add butternut squash and some vegetable stock. Yep. And then we'll let it cook for a while. That's basically it. So who here loves butternut squash? Once fall hits and this goes on sale for like 69 cents a pound at Aldi, I am all over it. I don't know what it is about butternut squash, but it is so good. It kind of has the consistency of sweet potatoes in a way, kind of a similar taste. Let's see. All right. I see there you have a couple of questions. Hold on. All right. Turkey is almost done cooking. All right. Roberta is here. Thank you. Allison is amazing. She's pretty awesome. All right, Melissa, thank you. Can I save and reuse butternut squash seeds like you can with pumpkin? Yes, you can. Um, I have no luck whatsoever roasting seeds, uh, whether it is butternut squash seeds or pumpkin seeds. So if anybody here has any suggestions on how to best roast seeds that you've taken out, please tell us um, because I always feel miserably for some reason. All right, so it's almost done here. I should probably go ahead and add the garlic, and then we'll be good to go. So it's just about finished cooking, and really it's this simple. You cook the ground turkey, the onion, garlic, and then you put the butternut squash in and let that cook until it gets soft. 
And that is it. Oh gosh, I'm hungry now. <laughs> now that I smell it, I am starving. It's just about finished right here. Now, um, this meal is actually fairly low in carbs. I forget the exact amount, but I think it, the, this meal right here serves four. And I think it said it was like 13 or 14 carbs, grams of carbs for a serving. And then there's some fiber in it too. So the net carbs after that would be slightly lower. Can you air fry the seeds for a healthy option? I have no idea. <laughs> Can anyone help us out? Can you air fry seeds, pumpkin seeds, uh, butternut squash seeds? That's an excellent question. Yes, we both have no idea. <laughs> and I, I love my air fryer, so I mean anything I can do that uses my air fryer is good. Okay, so that's done. So this is about three-ish cups of chopped butternut squash. This is only maybe half of the squash that I have. I chopped, I cubed up the other, the other half of it and it's in the fridge for a later time. So now I need to actually, I need to season this with salt, pepper, and paprika. Um, do you want to sprinkle the paprika in? Yeah. Okay. Allison's gonna help with the paprika right now. Alright, so all you have to do is just sprinkle some on. I don't really measure. So yeah, you can hold it upside down, it's fine. Yep, keep going. Keep going. Here, hold it upright a second. Sometimes you have to kind of shake it. Alright, do it again. Alright, awesome. Okay, that's good. Try not to get in the hot area. Right, right. Okay. Do you want to pour the butternut squash in here? Yes. You, can, you want to help me with it? Dump all of it. Yeah, we're going to dump all of it. Nicely done. Okay. They look like little cubes of cheese. And I know they look like cheese cubes. Now I need a half cup. Can you grab a half cup out of there? Um, half cup. And then we just need a half cup of vegetable broth. Which one's a half cup? The one down here, this one. I can pour it in the half cup if you want to dump it in the pan. All right, so very slowly. Good job. Nicely done. Just everywhere. Yep, thank you. So now we need to stir it. You want to come over here next to me because they can't see. All right, you want to come up, come up next to me? Sure. All right, here, look down. There we go. So now you're going to take this. And then you're gonna stir it. Can you give it a good stir? Yeah. All right, good. There we go. It's okay. I make messes all the time. <laughs> oh gosh. It's, hard to do it's okay. It's all right, I got you. Okay, so what we need to do is just cover or make sure that the butternut squash is kind of in with the broth. And then I think it says to cover. Can you look at the instructions and say whether it says to cover the with a lid? Uh, which, which one are we on? Um, right here. Cover and turn heat down to a medium low. Okay, so I'm I need to grab bye -bye. a lid. I'll go bye bye. Okay, see you later, Ellie. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. All right, so we're just gonna cover it for now. It is not quite boiling yet, so I'm gonna let it. Stay kind of on high-ish heat for now. All right, I missed a bunch of people. So hold on. All right. Gwen says she toasts her seeds in the oven. Awesome. French fries out of butternut squash. Yes, 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 Melissa. All right, butternut squash fries are amazing. And you would make them just like you would uh, regular potato fries or sweet potato fries. You would just slice them in whatever whatever fry shape you want and then you would roast them. I know in the oven you would roast them at 400 or so. Um, start between 15 and 20 minutes and just kind of check on them. Maybe flip them halfway through. See if they get soft and crispy. I am certain that you could do it in the air fryer too, but I have not tried it. I would say start with 400 in the air fryer 
and then maybe like every five minutes or so like try to flip them or something but yes butternut squash fries are awesome and they're a slightly lower carb option than regular fries i think i also made carrot fries before too so yeah all right so allison they're saying they want you to come over and help cook yeah <laughs> she said oh she said no i'm so sorry um she usually doesn't come in here to help cook me with, with me either, so, so sorry. So I'm just going to stir this up a little bit, let this cook for a while. I may add some extra seasoning here in a bit, Woo. but yes, I'll leave that there. All right, that is good for now. Yeah, cayenne pepper in that would be good. Uh, cinnamon sugar. Oh yeah, cinnamon sugar on the, the butternut squash. Yeah, I think I've made like honey roasted or maple roasted butternut squash before and yeah, that is really really good. All right, let's see. All right, so let me think for a second. Okay, so butternut squash, I showed you how to cut all of that. Something that I realized, and I know it sounds really silly, but um, back way in the day, I never like cooked with onions because I wasn't a huge fan of onion. But nowadays, if I don't have onions in my house, I'm like freaking out. Is anybody else that way too? I have to keep onions in here all the time now. So, and I've been using them like all week long. In fact, I've got a video coming out tomorrow with all sorts of black bean recipes and every single recipe starts out with olive oil, chop up an onion, cook the onion. <laughs> oh goodness. Am I going to do more Dollar Tree meals? I will eventually, yes. I did one, well last week it was the Halloween desserts and I went there a couple days ago just to kind of look around and see what else they had, any new things. I didn't see any new like meal foods, but let me show you what I did find. This was new. This is sugar-free pumpkin spice coffee syrup. Now I gotta say, okay, so I don't, I've only tried it once so far. Now it's got a really weird smell to it. It's very, very strong. Like you can tell that it's like artificial sugar. Um, what kind is in here? I see sucralose, cellulose gum, uh, artificial flavors, that sort of thing. So yeah, and then I only added like one little tablespoon to my coffee and it was a really strong pumpkin flavor. And I don't know if some of you are more sensitive to the, the artificial sugars. It just, I don't know, it tasted kind of weird. I may have to try it again, maybe in an iced coffee this time, I'm not sure. But they had pumpkin spice, they had salted caramel, French vanilla, and I think they had hazelnut too. So if you're there and you see it, go ahead and try it. Let me know what you think of the other flavors. I'll tell you what John does though. He does something pretty interesting. Now he's not a coffee drinker. He drinks tea, so he'll sometimes put that syrup in his tea, but he likes to make his own vanilla Coke. So he'll take like his Diet Coke or Coke Zero or whatever and pour a tiny bit of the vanilla or French vanilla syrup in his Coke and it tastes just like vanilla Coke. So there's that. <laughs> um, let's see. Have you ever tried making butternut squash and bread, like banana bread? Oh, so kind of like, like cooking it and pureeing it. I have not done that, but I'm sure it can be done. Um, I know people have made like mashed sweet potatoes and put that, I think, in bread or something a good idea. I'm going to have to look that up and see because that would definitely add some extra nutrition to it. Uh, more vitamins and stuff. Yes. All right. Let's see. Am I going to maybe do any more make ahead freezer meals? Eventually. Yes. Um, probably in November. So October is so busy because we have Allison's birthday on the 22nd. Um, she has three cousins that have birthdays this month. We have my marathon coming up 
in a couple of weeks. And then from there, like it just gets crazy. So I'm thinking maybe in November, possibly early December, I might make some freezer meals just because that gets so busy in the, during the holiday season. I'm gonna need something. But I'm thinking, hold on a second. <clears throat> I'm thinking about doing a like vlogmas or something like 25 days straight of videos in December. So maybe I'll do something then. Yes. All right. So like I said, this is kind of lower in carbs. So I have made rice in my rice cooker. Um, I actually, I, I put in actually six servings. This serves four, but I made something yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. I didn't have enough rice for it, so I made some extra servings. I just cooked some rice in there with some vegetable broth, and then I'll just probably mix it up with here. You don't have to add rice to it, but I needed some extra carbs, so I added that. So this should be doing pretty nicely. I've got a fork over here, so I'll poke this here in a second. And we'll see. It said to let it simmer for like 12 minutes. All right, it's getting there. It's not totally soft yet, but it's getting there. And then it also says to add cheese. The only, well, I have a couple more, a couple cheeses in the fridge, but I have this queso fresco here that I bought last week or something, and I need to use it up. So once I get these on the plate, I will just kind of sprinkle some on top, I guess. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. So acorn squash. I have never made anything with acorn squash. I've heard it's really, really good. Um, but the next time I'm at Aldi, I might pick one up or try to look for some recipes. What do you use the acorn squash for? Um, like, what, what do you personally like? Because I don't quite know what it would taste like. Is it like sweeter? Is it more like like a zucchini or yellow squash taste? I don't know. I'm not sure. All right, let me try adding some more paprika, more salt and pepper, just for a little bit more flavor. And then it should be almost done actually, which is awesome. Okay, while I was at Dollar Tree, I should have bought some more salt. I get my salt and pepper shakers at Dollar Tree. Super cheap. By the way, did you all hear, <laughs> I can't believe this, but did you hear that certain Dollar Trees are actually raising their prices? In certain areas, they are raising the prices to like $1.25, $1.50, in certain areas, I don't think it's going to be every single Dollar Tree, at least not right away, but they're experimenting in other cities. So I'm like, okay, well, Dollar Tree is like the only store where everything is a dollar. But unfortunately, like with the economy and stuff, they had to, they had to pivot, start raising prices due to inflation. But I mean, it's okay. I will still continue to go. And maybe they'll get in some cooler stuff. I don't know. Possibly. This is just about done. Let me take my fork again and poke it. Alright, I think... Oh yeah. Alright, that's awesome. It is done. Alright, cool. So this serves four. It is a ton of food. Oh my goodness. All right. Let me start plating. Let me check this rice real quick, actually. It was done like uh, about an hour ago. I just haven't touched it yet. All right, cool. That's good. All right, here we go. It smells delicious, by the way. I might need to add some extra salt to mine because that salt shaker is out. But I have some seasoned salt over by or over on the table. And then I've got hot sauce. I think I will definitely put some hot sauce on there. And then grab some rice to put on there. 
All right. Awesome. Okay. My rice, unfortunately, is a tad bit on the mushy side. I may have added a little too much liquid, or maybe I cooked too much rice at once. I don't know. But it's still good. It'll still taste good. All right, let's kind of pull this out for a second. Taste it. It's really hot. Mm, that's hot. It's good, though. Mm. Definitely needs some more salt. Um, oh, yeah. I got to add cheese to it. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, that's about it, yeah. All right. So, I will have more info next week. But, um, I found out there's a way that you guys can live track me during my marathon. My marathon is coming up in 10 days. 10 days. So, I, ha I have the app called Map My Run. And I know I can somehow share my run live. So I'll figure out a way to do that. As soon as I get the details, I'll let you all know. But that'd be pretty exciting to see everyone cheering me on and stuff. That'd be awesome. So ground turkey, butternut squash skillet with a side of rice. Like I said, this is low carb. If you need more carbs, add some rice. But we are going to enjoy this. If I don't have the recipe down there in the description, I will add it tonight. So sorry about that. But I'm going to go plate up the rest of it. Um, I had fun talking with you guys. Thank you for joining and for hanging out with me and, well, Allison for the short time she was here. Uh, we're going to go enjoy. Enjoy your evening, everybody. I will see you all later.